Hi guys! So today I'm sharing with you another watercolor and I wanted to share with you this is a Windsor & Newton colorless art masking fluid and I love this stuff it works really good to basically if you have an area that you don't want the watercolors to go on you can use it and then paint with watercolor in that area afterwards. So basically all you got to do with this stuff for any kind of watercolors is uh, there's a big glob of <laughs> of goo inside. It does dry into like a kind of like a rubber so I'm just taking it out and all you got to do is use a paintbrush and paint where you want to have protected on your paper from any watercolor getting on there and then you can just rub it off after and paint that area so on this one I'm doing a koi fish and I'm just painting the little koi fishes that I have inside the larger koi silhouette because I want them to stay white so that later I can paint them in with the bright orange colors so they don't get affected by the blue that I want to paint in the large koi fish silhouette. So I just wanted to introduce you guys to this really cool, uh, it's just masking fluid. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. There's a link in the, I'll put a link in the description for it and that way you guys could check it out but I really it's fun to use and you could you know write a word you could do a whole bunch of different stuff and do watercolors around it and stuff so I'm gonna finish painting these little kois inside koi fish with the masking fluid and then I'm gonna get to painting the big one with watercolors after the masking fluid dries of course <music> Okay, so now the masking fluid has dried and basically I'm doing the wet on wet technique in watercolor. So I'm putting water within the edges of the koi fish that I drew. Uh, it's just a silhouette. So I'm just putting plain water. There's no watercolors in this yet. And then with wet on wet what I'll do is you just basically put the water in the area you want the watercolors to be and then you mix up your watercolor and you just kind of add it in and it'll blend nicely using this technique and that's how you can get the colors to disperse and kind of blend together and you're gonna notice when I add the color is that the where I have the the masking fluid is it's going to reject or protect the paper underneath so I'm painting blue, painting right over where I put the masking fluid of the little fishes and I don't have to worry because they're going to stay white because that masking fluid is protecting the watercolor paper which is really cool. So I'll be able to remove that masking fluid after I paint the water scene that I want to do in the large koi silhouette and then I can paint those little fish bright blue like bright orange colors and stuff and not have to worry about any colors getting muddy or any details being lost. It's super cool. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to continue painting the water scene around the fish, adding a whole bunch of colors in this wet on wet technique. And then I'm going to come back and remove the masking fluid. <music>
Okay, so now that everything is pretty much dry, uh, I used a hair dryer to blow dry. I'm just going to now remove the fluid mask. You just apply a little bit of pressure and just rub it off. So you can see it's starting to just, it's like rubber, so you can just kind of roll it and peel it off. Um, I just push with my finger and it comes off super easily and you can see underneath it's pure white paper totally protected from the blue greeny blue I tried pulling it a bit but it kinda stretches it out so I say just roll your finger over and there's the little bit of uh, masking fluid really easy super fun and I hope you guys give it a try it's just something different to do with watercolors. There's lots of possibilities for it, and it's kind of neat. So I thought I would show you guys how to use masking fluid in your watercolors for something fun to do. And I love this koi fish uh, silhouette with a like a pond scene with little kois inside. So now I can go in and paint the little koi fish with vibrant orangey red colors and I have nice white too because their bodies are kind of a white color so I'm going to finish painting these cute little koi fish with their fun vibrant colors and I love contrast in watercolor so I love that these kois are like an orangey red and it's contrasting with the bluey green which really makes them pop so I'm going to continue painting and at the end you'll see the beautiful finished art piece.